We know that most people are tired of hearing the word inflation, but what about funflation? News 4's Caroline Gerhardt tells us just what that is and how that could be affecting the financial future of Gen Z. Concerts, travel, restaurants, and movies. All activities we had to give up at the start of the pandemic. Funflation is an interesting phenomenon that's I guess kind of born out of the COVID era 2020 when people were shut in. Like other rising costs, funflation refers to the price tag on experiences. But investment advisor Billy McCarthy explains. It's just a matter of allocating your resources so that you can have what you want and what you need and maybe what you're going to need in the future. Research shows young adults are hyper focused on those wants. A report from Bread Financial shows nearly two out of five Gen Z and millennial travelers have spent up to $5,000 on event tickets, not including travel. According to Bankrate, one in four adults are willing to go into debt to travel, and one in seven will shell out money they may not have to dine out or experience live entertainment. And for the younger generation, I know there's the excitement around uh, like concerts again. When I grew up, that was a huge deal in the 80s. The key not to break the bank and join in on the fun in Funflation, planning and budgeting. When they can understand and fully appreciate, it's okay for me to spend this money on this experience because with what's coming in and with what else is going out, I'm going to be okay. So to recognize early on that you can you can make all the priorities that you want as long as they fit within your budget. Budgeting can be easier than ever with apps like Good Budget, Every Dollar, Quicken, and You Need a Budget. Finances are right at your fingertips. Or go the old fashioned route. Good old envelope budgeting. That way your cash is out of sight and out of mind. I think it's important to understand that finance is not just about numbers. It is a personal, it's called personal finance for a reason and it's because emotions play into every large financial decision you will ever make. In Dothan, I'm Caroline Gerhardt, your hometown news leader. Another tip McCarthy offers is to stay accountable for your finances. Have a trusted person that can offer advice on large financial decisions, whether that be a financial advisor, a family member, or a friend.